Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a slideshow of online schooling and why it is the best option for me and also why it could be the best option for you. So let's get started. First, I'm going to show you guys what um, my PowerPoint is going to be on. So the first thing we're going to be talking about are the pros of online school which is like you know the good things that come out of online schooling next we'll be talking about the cons of online school and maybe the not so great things that online schooling comes with and then we'll be talking about facts um just some interesting facts that i came across that i would like to share with you and then the last thing we'll be talking about is actually we won't be talking about it um it is a youtube video that i wanted to show you guys so yeah moving on so first we're going to be talking about the pros of online schooling so the first thing is you waste uh, you don't waste as much time um, when you're sitting in class there's a lot of time where you're really not doing anything it's dead time you're waiting for the teacher to tell you what to do you're it's passing time between classes it's just it adds up to a lot of wasted time so when you're online schooled you can get the work done you don't have to wait for the teacher you don't have to have passing time so it can take a lot less time to get your work done the next thing at least for me is I would like to graduate early um, I would like to graduate at least six months before my class I really want to move on to a college or university so that is one of my personal goals and the last thing is flexibility um, you don't have a teacher you know standing over you telling you when to do this um, you don't have to get up at a certain time you don't have to stop at a certain time you can work when you want to work um, get more done if you want to you can work on vacation even though I doubt you would want to do that but some people might want to get more work done so it's really flexible now we're going to move on to some cons of online schooling the first one is not as much social interaction um, this is a yes and no because some people think that you don't really talk to people and you kind of just sit there and do nothing but I think that you, it is harder to get social interaction. You have to put yourself out there more, but it is possible. And you can, you know, get a job, volunteer somewhere. It is possible to get social interaction, but without the school setting, it probably is a little bit harder. But you have to give the person a chance to try and get some social interaction opportunities. So, I mean, it's not as much social interaction if you don't try and make social interaction, but it is possible. Next is um, missing school events like dances and sports. Um, for me personally, I never went to dances. It was just not something that I wanted to do, so I'm really not missing out on anything. And sports, um, school sports, I mean, I was really iffy about this. This was like one thing that was really holding me back, but our soccer team on... Um, um, at my school it's not really the greatest and it's not gonna help me much as a player so I will still be doing like soccer training just not in my school so you kinda have to weigh out if sports are really important to you in high school so that could be a big factor and last thing is not preparing me for the real world a lot of people think that you need to be prepared for situations like group work or Maybe if you hate school, you, you have to go anyways because there's going to be times in life where you just don't want to do things. Um, I agree with some of those statements, but online schooling prepares you in other ways that public schools don't. Like online schools help you prepare. You have to be self-motivated. You have to be able to work without someone yelling at you and standing over your shoulder telling you what to do. You have to be able to kind of run your own schedule. You have to be able to make your own lunches possibly. For me, I would stay at home by myself all day. I gotta make my own lunches. I gotta make my own schedule. So online schooling helps you in a way by making you self-motivated and making you become more independent and then public schools help you in group work and other things so both public school and online school help you in different ways so you kind of have to weigh out the pros and cons of that but both help you in um, different ways now we're gonna move oh sorry nope there's one more um the cons is a lot of people think or at least I think that at, um, public schools only just kind of aim for the average kid I mean they I mean, yes, you have AP classes, and then you have, like, credit recovery, but in a regular classroom, the teacher is not really, you know, going fast for the 
for the kid that's above average or he's not really going slow enough for the kid that really doesn't understand anything and then when the person that is above average is ahead of the game and they already understand what the lesson is about you gotta sit there for 20 minutes while the teacher tries to talk to the kid that really doesn't understand what's going on and again that kinda goes with the wasted time um, so schools Public schools kind of aim towards the average kid, and online schools help you adjust to your learning style. So now we're going to go on to some interesting facts that I came across. Um, the first one is that over 2 million people have are now learning at home from 1999, which is a 75% increase, which I thought was a really interesting fact. Um, and also over here on the right it says, um, but are homeschoolers a little odd? Studies say no. And it says that we have outscored public school kids um, in, in all of these areas in communication, daily living, socialization, and maturity. So, I mean, those myths that say that kids that are homeschooled really don't talk to anybody or do anything, that's obviously not true. Studies have shown, and um, the sources are down below. Um, right here on the right so if you don't believe me or this page you can look up the sources so I just thought I would share some of these interesting facts and the last thing is this video please click on the link right there and it will take you to a video of a girl who is online schooled and kind of her experience and her thoughts and I thought it was really interesting um, she kind of like spoke my mind we think exactly the same so I hope you enjoyed this um, Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.